Hello everyone, Beard Reads Books here. All right, for today's video, I'm not going to be talking about a specific book. I Instead what I'm going to do is I thought I'd just do a little video on a uh, book series that I, I personally quite like. It's, I forgot one here. The series is of books, it's The King's England by Arthur Mee. And each book in the series is on a specific county. So the books I've got here, for, as you can see, I've got a, a few little ones here. So the books I've got are on the counties of Devon, Dorset, Somerset, Sussex, and Wiltshire. And what they are, like each book, it gives little descriptions on pretty much all of the towns, villages, and like the cities in that particular county. And it talks a bit about them, sort of gives a bit of a history, sort of like information. I mean, I the page I've opened up on, sort of page 69 in the Devon book, starts talking about Bratton Cloverley. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, it's just, I mean, it's all, each book also has a few, like, different photos throughout. And it just kind of talks about like, the history of all the, like, the towns and villages and all the rest. And it's kind of, I suppose you could look at it as a, like, a bit of a reference book, sort of like, a reference to all the different places and sort of history reference book. Would, I suppose, would that be the best way of describing it? Sounds a bit of a clumsy way of describing it to my mind, but yeah, I say, yeah, so a bit of a reference book on all the different places, and like the sort of the little snippets of history on them. I mean, just the Dorset book I've just opened up on a particular page, and it's got Askerwell, Uffalampton, Backham. So, yeah, so if you ever want to know about any of those, you can just sort of get like open up the book and start reading it's i suppose you could look at it as the old-fashioned version of wikipedia <laughs> yeah so yeah wikipedia before wikipedia existed i mean these books they're a bit of a hi history in themselves the reason i say that is i mean this book dawn dorset this is this is the fifth impression this one fifth edition and it was produced in 1950 so I mean the Dorset book was first published in 39 so I mean these books themselves are a little bit of history so what's that this book's about 70 old well yeah 72 73 years old so yeah quite an old book in itself I mean I one thing I like about these books is they contain like little, they're good. Well, they're good for dipping into for like reference, reading a bit of history. But they also contain bits of information that you wouldn't necessarily find on Wikipedia. So I think it's quite handy using them in conjunction with Wikipedia and all the rest. Right, the Somerset book. Now each book's got a map of that particular county sort of showing all the towns and villages and all the rest it talks about. And in the back of the Somerset book, oh, don't know how well you can see that. So yeah, little map of the county, sort of this and all the different places that it talks about. But no, it is, it's very good. I, I'm a, one of these people. Yeah, it's quite good using the internet for a, like research and all the rest but I'm a bit old-fashioned I do quite like a book so I quite like having these so when I want to learn a bit about a specific place yes I go onto the internet and have a look at Wikipedia I mean I know Wikipedia is not infallible I know there's potentially it's not a complete his like history information thing and I know it, there might be errors on Wikipedia but I mean, we, I, Wikipedia is good. You know, it's got its uses. 
But I like to use these in conjunction with Wikipedia, you know, so, yeah. I, I often just dive into the books and sort of just have a little read of little places that, and all the rest. Yeah, it's just brilliant. I, I like them. So, yeah, if you're the kind of person you like to know, you like to sort of learn a little bit about a place, like places sort of around where you live and all the rest, I'll definitely recommend sort of getting one of these. Yeah, they're quite handy to have, I think. So, yeah. Guys, if any of you have sort of read any of these books, dipped into them, tell me what you think of them. You know, have you dipped in any of these books to use for a little bit of reference, like research and all the rest? What do you think of them? Do you like them and all the rest? You know, tell me what your thoughts are on them if you've like read any of them. Well, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. I hope you've enjoyed watching and look forward to seeing you again in the next one. And in the meantime, take care. Happy reading.